Hey guys, welcome. I was here, I'm here for another message. I was called to be here. Who knew? Not me. We're having a super full moon party and how can we not be celebrating? This won't be happening again for another year and the fact that we've had four this year, well, and I mean, I love the Luna on the best of days. Now, I know those were really long readings, you guys, and really long messages, but I've been told the messages are the messages and I'm just going to receive them in the way in which I'm called to. And you know what? I am still, I'm honoring your time. I don't want you guys ever think I don't honor your time. Now, there was a message. Let's get, just not talking, get on with it. So this one's not five hours long. There's a message in the reading. They showed me within the five of inspiration, which is the five of wands, we're healing from conflict right now. That's one of the main things we're doing. This is gonna help the equality between the masculine and feminine. Competitiveness, of course. It's connected to our sacral chakra healing and they shared a message with me and then they said, set this up and we're gonna receive them. We're having a freaking party around here, guys. We're celebrating. And guys, please, thank you for joining in the celebration. Let's have some fun. Let's actually try to have some fun. Let's catch some waves of inspiration. This inspiration is connected to what we're doing here with devil energies. And we're about to have an expansion, a metamorphosis. And that's what's connected to that butterfly, the metamorphosis. And that right now is connected to the, the moth, this death here. And it's a moth because moths, they're connected to the dark and this is an expansion from the dark this is a metamorphosis from the dark that's the work that we're doing right now and it's connected to the north node our life's purpose our life's path our ten of cups and that's this feeling and right now we're working with the two we're working with the two that's connected to the ten this is what I've been shown now it's time it's time. We're going to find out what it's time for right now. There's communication and we're getting a message as to what this communication is about. It is connected to the curse and the lifting of the curse. It has to do with our fortune increase. That's our Ten of Pentacles along with our Ten of Cups. This is end game. This is our goal. That right now is connected to what we started off with the spring equinox, our rebirths. And this right now has to do with the many pathways we are taking on our soul's expansion. And this is connected to our divine blueprint. And we know we're about to, we're about to enter through a new space within this path. Something's being unlocked. And they've showed me it's connected to the Akashic field. And we received this message not that long ago, one of like the reading right before, uh, the reading with the message from our ancients. And I'll link these, of course, down below. And then there's the movement. We see what we need to see. This door opens up and we move forth. Right now we can't see. The, the pathway is blurry. It's not clear. It's blocked. Because of this. Because of, of this space. Well, this party music right now is a little whack. I don't know. You know, guys, when you're vibrational, everything makes such a difference. And when you, I guess when you're conscious that you're vibrational, everything makes a really big impact. You can really see how much we need to heal from noise, how much noise affects us and how we can read frequencies and receive information like radio. <laughs> to this message and this was just at the new moon this is what's happening this is this is this, this is what they've showed me to share and then we're gonna move on you are the most sacred of all the artworks you are bringing yourself to life now and this is how it must be of course something being essential doesn't mean it will always be easy you must support yourself and have courage during this process your monkey mind is not to run the show it might have a lot to say and at times times it may seem very convincing but it's not the one in charge and that's that's some straight straight truth 
Your mind can inspire you with ideas. However, it is the real you that speaks through your rebellious sacred heart and is living your life, not the monkey mind. Beneath habitual thoughts, there is a deep, sensual, creative, and energetic awakening happening to you. It is so far beyond what the mind is now capable of controlling. Others might not like it because it shakes things up. Coming to life tends to do that. However, it is happening now and the only real choice you have to make is how to deal with it. So we're coming to life, guys. This is us. Like, we're literally coming from life. So this is really big. This is, oh, this is so big. Okay, so yin and yang is in flow. The dark and the light. And now we're adding the color. The inner child's free. And now we are, like, we're coming to life. This is so big. This really means like we're making our way to our divine inheritance. We are making our way to our fortune increase. This is no joke anymore. This means that like we really have created with stability of the light. This is all about the journey underneath the mind and into a sensual emotional connection with your feelings, emotions and body. It is for a sacred purpose, so our feelings serve a sacred purpose. It is part of your path. You are one of the sacred but more powerful minority that have chosen to come into a body and live consciously within. That may seem like it applies to everybody, but when you experience it for yourself, you will realize that this is actually rather rare. There are plenty of bodies without a spirit really residing within to care for, love, and honor them as a sacred animal. Guys, we need to really understand what that means and what we are, and we need to have a humble charge with that. We need to add, add the humble charge right away and recognize who we are and what we are becoming because we're coming to life, and we're coming to life with our light, with our flame, because of all this healing work we're doing. This minority is powerful enough that it can keep human culture in balance. Oh, you really better get freaking humble. But only just. We need every single one of us that is capable. But be aware of the task and move beyond the mind and into the body. And this is why we got the message of the body at the reading. This is especially so if you have drawn the oracle. No, we don't have any of this here. But this is all about supporting our life's path. We need to honor our sensual experiences. And this is connected to sensing, our intuition, our feelings. This all right now has to do with the work that we are doing in the unknown to expand the spiral. And what the masculine and feminine do are doing. We know the feminine is seeking it. The masculine expands it. So we need to be able to seek it, to see it, to expand it. This is the time we're in. This is what is happening. Now, they have shared with me. As to what is different this time. It's this. The Akashic field, the one of forces, and this is the flame. The one of flames, the ace of flames, the ace of fire. How many more ways can I say that, guys? Like the Akashic field, the Aurora Borealis flows with energy and brilliance as charged particles from the sun interact with atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. The 93 million miles from the sun to the Earth is nothing compared to the limitless consciousness of the akashic field and that's true guys this this is really big if you even do research on the aurora borealis and what it is you might understand the twin flame path even that much more that's all i'm gonna say all information power energy and experiences vibrate within this realm of understanding Truth and possibility, and every bit of it can be yours. This is all about an amazing opportunity abound at this time, and that's our connection to time. 
It's time. You can you can increase and celebrate the experience by opening the door the doors to the Akashic Records. The doors are open. There it is. The doors are open to the Akashic Records. Freaking mamma mia, man. I'm telling you, things are amping up. Things are freaking amping up. I gotta get back, back, back. Okay. Your life force energy resonates with universal synchronicity now, so you can explore the records and receive exactly the information that you need. Great recording. Let's get back. Where were we? Okay. Engage in this pursuit with a conscious focus. Right? I'm telling you guys, the universe is having signs to say how sacred this is. Engage in this pursuit with a conscious focus. Write your intentions and ask for inspiration. Meditate on the Akashic field and visualize your goals. The universe is ready and willing to align with your heartfelt desires. And now is the time to make them happen. And there's the connection to our heartfelt desires because then this is where they took me next. And we're receiving these messages in real time, guys. This all happened right after the full moon reading and then I went to get ready for the party. And then this all happened. And here we are. I am jumping ahead of myself. So... We've come full circle as to what's happening right now, okay? We know we're healing our sacral chakra. This is the message that they shared with me. And this has to do with being having access to the Akashic fields. The energy, the door is opening. Having access to this sacred knowledge of divine light, of energy. It's energy. It's helping us out of here. It's helping us to do this, to just, whoosh, right? This is that vault. This is that vault that we were talking about at the full moon and Scorpio reading that's connected to the horse. It's going to be that vault of energy that's going to raise our vibration just right up. It's going to be like a rocket booster. We're going to be shooting to the moon. We're going to have strength and that's connected to the sacral. The fool sits atop the golden lion. Why is she dressed in the yellow of her third chakra and not in the orange of the second? The strength it takes to harness her emotions requires the disciplined thinking of the third chakra, which she summons. She's summoning it. She's summoning this. She's making the call. Emotional maturity has emerged through the shadow of the second chakra. Harnessing her feelings re required the fool's focus and is one of the valuable keys to chakra evolution. Now we understand how to evolve with our chakras through facing the shadows, through healing the devil and from the devil energies, through, th through shining the light on the shadows. We're rinsing them. That's what we found out. Notice that she is not ignoring her feelings. She is engaging in them. In traveling from the second chakra to the third chakra, the shadow becomes the bridge to manifesting. This is not about suppressing feelings. Instead, it's about taming and focusing emotions to be productive and empowering. Wow. Now we're going to use our emotions as fuel too. Look at us go. That sounds like a jolt of electricity to me. That sounds like a raise in vibration to me. This is all about our psychic strength, intelligence, vitality, joy, leadership, and pride. And this is connected to La Luna herself. The waning or waxing moon brings shadow aspects to your emotions. 
Waning energy indicates a draining emotional situation, while waxing brings more energetic light to your circumstances. At the time of your reading, look up to the phase of the moon to see where you are in the moment. Well, we know what's happening right now. It's the full flower moon in Scorpio, and it's a super moon, and it's the last one for a whole year. Now we know they have shown me that we're going to blow straight through to the heart. Because of course we are, because we are harnessing the power of the middle chakra in between here, the solar plexus. So we're super connected right now. This guy's got all of his coins and he doesn't know who's responsible for his future, but he knows he needs to unlock. And he's going to unlock by facing his fears, the shadows, and open himself up for an adventure, the journey, the path. The paths, may I say. Right? Where are they? They're hidden. Right? The paths within. Allow yourself to let go of what you think of as yours and observe how you respond. This can only imply... Ah, conditional love, a need to reframe your reality. The glass is half full. So this love has conditions on it. We're going to heal from it. This love does not have conditions on it. It's unconditional. It doesn't possess. It's free. And that's connected to the freedom horse. We're no, we're not. Uh, this is how we clear the obstruction. Remember, we're in the energy of what we're creating. If we're hoarding, if we're holding on, we are... Constructing. we let go we're not hoarding then we're no longer feeling stuck deprived and we accumulate we let down our guard we have our guard up here we have to let down our guard we have to open up we have to let our blessings in we have to open up our heart look you can even see the symbolism right here look at here in the devil look at all the coins he's holding on to we need to let go because letting go that's freedom and that's what she's doing here in the strength card. She's let go. There's a, a number eight here through the waters. Now look, we're even talking about water right now. We're talking about emotions. Destroy, create, destroy, create, create, destroy, create, destroy. Whichever way you want to look at it. We're working with our sacral chakra right now in order to heal from the devil energies. And this is about being a divine weaver of duality. And that's why we need the scorpion energy. Because here, we are a divine weaver of duality. That's what we're doing. That's the new patterning we are creating. And we must have strength in order to do this. Because we're going to destroy old patterning to create new. And right now, it has to do with our intuition and our emotions and the water energies. That connects us to this message. The lion. Strength of will and inner strength. It's the inner sun. And the inner sun, of course, is connected to the door. We're going to learn... How to open this up through our learning and we're going to connect deeper into our inner sun and it has everything to do with judgment whale new depths of creativity because we're going to go that much deeper within in order to access this space so we're going to expand with an, and pull away another layer of the devil energies, the shadows, in order to get to the light. Something is happening here because we also discussed that temperance is helping us to restore balance between the masculine and feminine. So this is how. Harmony, balance, the middle path, avoiding excess, blending energies and ideas, alchemy, finding purpose, the Goldilocks zone, meaningful encounters, turning a life lesson into a spiritual gold, patience, and healing. 
And this is measured moderation, and that's really big. There's the key phrase, measured moderation. The gods took equal, part, equal parts fast and slow, equal parts material and spiritual, and equal parts she and he. And they mixed them in their lotus cauldron as they stirred to life the muse of temperance. They needed this balance and malleability in the world for her voice of reason. And this would bring them together in a beautiful blend of oneness. And there's unity. She doesn't rely on the dark of the full moon. Instead, she is a mosaic of parts. And she melts it all together in the way that spins the best of the best into one. Wow. That's a transformer. That's a metamorphosis. She weaves purpose and harmony into the lives of others. And her greatest alchemical gift is the treasure of healing. She reminds you to turn despair into the gift of patience and blend the need to thrive with the need to enjoy. When you walk the middle path that is available to you, what areas find greater balance? I am the divine weaver of duality. I hold you. I am essence and your evolution of becoming is rooted in the mixing. Wow. We are coming together. We, it's like, that's what this is. That's where we're going. And they've shared with me it's connected to this message because this is, of course, this. Two of emotions, love, relationships, friendship, romance, partnership, connecting with others, soulmates, mutual attraction, catalysts for creative collaboration. And I love that last one more than anything because we're here to inspire, grow and expand and help others with that chain reaction. Prompt, consorting with devotion. The two of emotions offers a mutual attraction that leaves them with floating helplessly in the waters of love and tumbling into the future together. All she feels, they find themselves on the same wavelength. Equal. They find themselves on the same wavelength, impossibly drawn to this connection that has blossomed so easily with emotions this synced. They know that this is the connection. This is the one that will mean a lasting partnership. They are ready to commit their hearts for the long term. They collaborate, working and twisting together in ways that allow them to envision and create their blended reality. This pairing is available to you now and requires honest communication and total authenticity. So sink fearlessly into the realization that it's time to share yourself wholeheartedly with another. This is the only way to drift into the love that is being offered. Allow your entangled hearts to do the rest. Entangled, enriched, souls perfectly pitched. As our spiral is hitched, new emotion bewitched. And I love that because our souls are perfectly pitched. We're at the exact harmony of authentic self that we need to be at in order to come back together and like the butterfly. And that's why we need to be the butterfly. The butterfly is connected to the moth, whichever one's going to help you get up there. All right, guys. They have shown me this is all connected to new patterning. We're creating it. That's why we're here. Because we've seen through our illusions. And now we're getting forward movement. We know we've connected to our ancients as well. Yin and yang. Dark and light. Masculine feminine. And we're going forth with La Luna to face the shadow energies. And she's the light. We're going to find justice. And we know we're finding justice through strength. And we know strength is key right now. That's why they keep showing me in the connection to the Leo energy that we've had Leo many times. We're gonna have an ending. We're gonna let, we're gonna fall. 
We're going to let it be. We're going to feel free to feel, to expand, to grow, but we're going to cleanse it. We're not going to hold on to it. All right. The sun is here. We expand with our strength. We raise our vibration, literally, with the king of wands. And that is all connected to the two of cups. But the two of cups right now is directly connected to strength and facing the shadow energies and just speaking our truth, just communicating our truth in whichever way it's happening. And now we come full circle. This is what we're here to get a reading on what is happening here. But before we do, we're just going to go hang out with La Luna a little bit. And then we're going to come back and we're going to see what's happening. Let's go. messages we know that this is all about the communication and this communication is lifting the curse and it's connected to the truth and it's connected to moving on from this space and it's happening with the nine of pentacles right here it's connected to our new patterning and this is our high vibe patterning we're creating with spirit i hope you guys can see it's really dark now but la luna's lighting us up she's keeping things illuminated all right, let's just see what this message is connected to. Where are we starting? Right here. Two cards. Four of Pentacles. And we know we need the Four of Pentacles. Because this has to do with healing our heart chakra. And this, we close the door to our past. We close the door to the patterning that's creating us stuck in karmic loops that's connected to the devil, to the boogeyman. Now we shut it. We shut the door to this space. And we have achieved what we set out to achieve. The Six of Cups. The connection to the masculine and feminine. The restore to one. The restore to innocence. A mandala of seahorses and mermen spin in the dark waters. Some face one another as they talk and share food from their chalices. Others are swinging along, looking to join with another for communion. The seahorses symbolize generosity and patience. And we know there's our key because we, we already received that message. There's our connection. They know that they can wait their turn to share in the bounty that the others have. Their challenge is to be able to wait patiently for their time. Now this is about divine timing. We have to wait patiently for our time. We know this is happening. We know how to get there, but we have to wait patiently for our time. And we know the time is now, the time is now that we are activating to do this. The cups are a resource for bringing each other together. Together. The cycle of emotions are ever turning, ever flowing. And how we view the past will change depending on our perspective and who we tell the tale to. And that's why we're closing the door to our past. Meaning, reunion, because we're having a reunion. Getting together to tell the tales of one's life. So if we physically close the door to our past, something changes. We have to act on it. We have to do it. We can't stay in limbo. That's the message. And of course, 
Guys, these freaking La Luna. This is lit, guys. Everything's lit. I've never... Wow. Five of Wands, Five of Wands. We've come full circle. Like, from the devil... We're healing from our competitiveness, our inequality, our active conflict. The devil has the children. We know we're coming to life. So, of course, we're freeing the children because that's how we're actually being able to paint with color. Because the child is connected to the chakras and the seven colors of the rainbow and is imprinted within us the first seven years of our life. And that's why we're healing emotional imprinting, emotional wounding. We're cleansing that. We're rinsing it. That's the soul purification. That actually is this. The restored to innocence, the restored to one, the res it's, it's reunion, it's reunion of self. We've, we're coming back to one. And this is connected to the connection between the masculine and feminine. And there's our new beginning with the fool. And I'm happy he's here because this he she this reading is so magical and we're at school for the fool this is probably one of the most incredible readings i feel like i've ever been a part of not wow okay okay now we're just gonna see what we're gonna finish doing with our chakras in order to heal them what are we doing here what's the path look like the six of swords okay that's moving away from what no longer serves us. We have the child, we free the child, and we move on. With the nine of cups. In the nine of coins. That's where the new patterning is happening. So look, guys, we freed the child. We have the child there. We're moving on. We're moving on from our past. We've closed the door on it now. And we are creating our new patterning. And this is lit because now we have our root our sacral and our solar plexus all being created in this new well all creating this new patterning so this is some real healing but this is healing the sacral chakra now we've set out to do what we were achieving here and this space is we know connected to here which is connected to here. And we're just moving on from this. We're done. This is not new earth anymore. And the queen of swords is here because this is about our truths. We're lifting the curse. This is about communication. This is the air energy. And that is third eye activations right here. There's a third eye activation. There's a truth being, and it has to do with peace there's our sacral again, and there it is. Our connection to the heart, the star, the healing, and the wheel turns. And how we were doing this all, all this was connected to the work that we were doing in our solar plexus with the three of coins. And this is creating with all the vibrations. This is creating with masculine, feminine, child body, mind, soul, the heavens, the earth, through us, soul tribe members, other soul tribe members of the light, all connecting and taking their turn. This is the creation of new patterning. That's what this card specifically speaks of. The creation of new patterning and everyone feeling equal. All right. It's just, we're going to have the moon just confirm this. What's being activated? I'm so flush, the energy running through me. There it is. We're restoring balance. We're becoming friends. We're becoming equals. But that's through the divine. And we know this is connected to our solar eclipse, our great revolutions. This is the coming together of the masculine and feminine. That's how this happens, through change. This is the sun and the moon connected. There's the sun and the moon connected right here. But there's three people in here. There's two people coming together. And then there's the divine. This relationship was with the divine. All right. And what are... What? What's happening here? Because we're manifesting. 
We are manifesting. Consistency. That's what this is about right now. This is about our consistency. And really, that makes perfect sense because this is now keeping balance with the sun. The moon has to keep balance with the sun and the sun has to keep balance with the moon. And our perspective. This is all about how we're working right now. These are three cards, di directly speaking, of the work we're doing, mission work. So we're being consistent with creating with integrity of the light, with doing healing with our flame, with our new patterning. We're constantly working on our perspective, a higher vibe perspective, the flip side of the coin, the balancing with the dark of the light, the balancing of the karmic scales with the ideals of the black and white and the acceptance of it, but we remember we heal from the shadows. This is the Fibonacci secrets and spiral. This is our place even within the earth, who we are, like we just said. We are light within a body having an experience. We're woke, we're lit, we're active fire. Wow, I don't even... We're actively changing the world. And it's through our efficiency. And right now our efficiency is connected to the preservation of life. And we're shifting perception. And we're shifting, we're shifting, we're shifting perception through our perspective. And there is our connection. And it's through something we're revisiting. We're stretching out, we're expanding. And we're going to listen. This is connected to communicating. We're going to listen and we're going to pick up friction. And when we pick up friction, we're going to recreate our new pattern. We're going to reweave something within the patterning that's going to help us expand. And the moon is trying to help us to see She's giving us influence as to what to see. And it has to do with our rediscovery and our unity as one. That's what's happening. Let's see what our ancients have to say about this. Great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. So we're having spiritual experiences in order to learn. Spirit is teaching us to help us expand and create unconditional love. And it's by honoring the energy of the she-wolf, unleash the wild within. And now that's unleashing the feminine energy within. And that's our instincts, that's our intuition. And we're honoring it. And we're honoring a new piece of self. That's what's happening. We're honoring a new piece of self. This is getting more raw. This is getting more real. This is getting more realistic. We're coming to life. We're coming to life with that super moon energy. And this is about our instincts. This is about what is natural. Our intuition, guys. What's happening here? Something is freaking happening. Your commitment is being tested. We're being tested. Our commitment to the path. Be bold and make the first move. This is connected to when summer is coming and the seasons shift. This is connected to what the masculine and feminine are seeking. And it's connected to a future reading we will be discussing on actually what they're seeking. We're going to be breaking it down. And it has to do with 
what they're creating together. It's connected to a fresh start. fresh start and it has to do with the new patterning our solar plexus and our three of pentacles energy this is key we know that when we were discussing chakra work here that it was all about the three everybody taking turns to create this new patterning to come back to one and look now we've literally created a pathway that wasn't there before. We cleared a path that wasn't there before. We cleared the obstacle. And we cleared the obstacle through the Ace of Cups. We just took the leap. Look, she literally takes the leap into the waters of emotions and just finds freedom. She just lets herself feel. We're feeling right now. Much love and healing vibes sent your way to create with today. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Yeah, we're going from the five to the six through the ace. There's the five of cups, guys. So we're going from the five of six through the ace, through the clarity. And that's connected to that scarab beetle. And our spirit, expanding with spirit. We're playing our two. We're transforming. And there's the King of Cups. There's the Scorpion energy. This new tune that we are playing, this new harmony we're playing, it literally transforms us. We know that the Ten of Wands is the clearing to the new patterning. The Ten of Wands is the clearing, to, clearing the path. The Ten of Wands is clearing. And we know that. From our full moon in Scorpio reading. And we know that it's all about the King of Cups right now. And the King of Cups is connecting to his gifts. And something's happening here. And we're going to find out what. On our next reading. Take care.